critical care medicine is a highly specialized branch or a specialty which needs a complex interaction and harmony of advanced technology, advanced life support machinery, highly expert clinicians, nurses, allied specialty and a whole lot of other people who contribute to the care of a critically ill. In this context, the advent of extracorporeal membrane oxygenator or ECMO for short has made a paradigm shift in taking care of some of the patients who till about 10 or 20 years ago were considered non-salvageable. So what is ECMO? It is nothing but a very complex machine where blood is taken out from the patient, pumped into a membrane artificial lung and returned back to the patient. This is usually needed for those patients who have severe heart failure or non-functioning or dysfunctional heart or severe lung failure and in this context we have two types of ECMO what is called as veno arterial or VO ECMO for heart failure and veno venous ECMO or VV ECMO for lung failure. VA ECMO or veno arterial ECMO is a temporary supportive device which provides mechanical support to the failing cardiovascular system along with simultaneous gas exchange. So it has emerged as a life-saving therapy in acute coronary shock events like cardiac arrest where standard therapies fail. It can also be used as a bridge to destination therapy in patients with decompensated chronic cardiac failure awaiting definitive therapies like cardiac transplantation. Venovenous ECMO is done for hypoxemic respiratory failure or moderate to severe ARDS. When somebody cannot be continued on lung protective ventilation and somebody not responding to prone ventilation, that is when we consider VV ECMO. Impure blood is taken from the larger vein, goes through the artificial oxygenator, gets oxygenated and comes to the right side of the heart bypassing the lung. In this way, lung will get rest and time for recovery. Uh, we have a team of uh, not only consultants who are readily available uh, and also we have a perfusionist who can go there to the place where the patient is sick and initiate ECMO and make sure that we uh, get them here safe and sound and we have that facility of uh, air transport as well and everything will be taken care of right from the initiation of ECMO, managing initial management over there and the transportation and bringing back safely to our hospital and then further continue management of ECMO over here. We at the Department of Critical Care Medicine at Manipal Hospital, Old Airport Road, have over 25 years of experience and legacy in taking care of extremely sick, critically ill, complex patients and most of them have done well and survived to go back to normal life. I am also happy to say that our success rate in managing these patients are better than the best in the world.